Whoa, how am I summing it there? Hey there, everyone. This is Alco, and this is December 21st. Uh, it's like if you take day 21st, then remove the SD that it says the Wii 21. It's dog in the grass. A staple of the festivities, I feel like. Dog in the grass always finds a way to get involved. And I got a greetings bag. Uh, it used to be tape, but I took the liberty of cutting that tape. Ooh, actually, there's like several things in there. We got this flat thing, this flat thing that has cats. So I start writing prison two out of two. Okay, wait, wait, okay. They're numbered. That is two letters. All right. So that's probably then. What? That's probably prison one out of two. But two letters. Why would you need two? I don't know. That cat is really smart. I guess we'll start with the letters. It's not exactly clear. This this is some fantastic wrapping. All right, all right, okay. So just gonna snap this, snap. Okay, mess up snapping that and just tearing it this time. It happens, you know. It's okay. That's what wrapping paper is for. You can see, I've been there. You know, it's a beautiful view for the holidays. Oh geez, don't fall off my bed there. Yeah, doing this one-handed as usual. Oh geez, and this just leads to more, <laughs> more protective, uh, more, oh geez, things uh, to manhandle in order to get to the juicy center. Can I read that? One letter, one wolf. Okay, I see. There's going to be like the letter letter. Then there's going to be the English translation. I know how this works. All right, so... Okay, how easy to snap this tape is. It's... Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, uh, this is just a little bit of awkwardness. Don't worry. Yeah, so like this feels like the kind of thing where I put my phone down. But because very early on in the festivities I did that and it stopped the recording, I don't want to do that. No, I've learned a lesson, but I don't know if I learned the right one. Alright, well it looks like just destroying this piece of cardboard is easier than dealing with the tape, as you would expect. Ah, there we go. Had to use a little bit of leverage. This feels like more than two. All right, so Chris Miss Letter. And then there's, I feel like this is more important, huh? Giant Wolf. Oh no. Oh no. How, how much paper did you end up using? This feels like it could be very important. <laughs> oh my god okay all right yeah that's a letter that is a very powerful letter Woof. loud and clear couldn't be clearer if you attempted to even understand and in the Christmas letter, we will see how this dog language, yeah, how efficient it is compared to human English here. Bow wow wow cow. Is there anything behind? Only that is a Christmas letter. Bow wow bow wow. Can't, be can't believe it's already the 10 year anniversary of the end of the world. Sure has been a strange year for me too, say the least. LOL. Been completely surreal. Over the past nine years, I had this countdown in the back of my mind. Like I foresaw my death and time was ticking down. The timer hit zero back in March. Out of everything that could happen, I wasn't expecting an intense spiritual awakening. I can't take my life or existence for granted anymore. Even a bad times... Uh, I'm thankful that they could be here and I can experience it all. Not sure entirely why I chose you to dump all of this on. That just seems to be the trend this year. But I just 
needed to get it all out. Woo. Then after all this, I got picked for the pound of... I was like pizzazzed. I got picked for the Patapon Royal Wheel. Yeah, you are the reason I play dog game. And played uh, one of my favorite games. And a ton of people played away and enjoyed the ride too. Thanks for... Hosting. Wow. Thanks for hosting such an amazing community of peeps. Keep up the great work, yo. Ooh, and there's, there's a simulation of what could be you if it was drawn by a dog. And there's this paw print, and then I don't know. Oh, I don't know what that is. Big old seal. It's the empty seal of dog woolity. Barkfully dog in the grass. Man, I... You know, it's hard to read dog. Like, you know, they don't got thumbs. Like, it's surprising you could actually get this done at all. All right. And we got the present. I mean, honestly, like, I don't know, man. People are just, I am, like, this is, this is the reality. I am feeling, there's a feeling of, like, great honor, I guess is the best way I can phrase it, that people feel confident enough when they write to me in a context where they know it will be read publicly and yet still they're willing to just like lay out some extremely, extremely personal things. That is very meaningful to me. I don't know if I'm all that deserving of, of that kind of chance, that kind of occasion, but like it's not unmeaningful, you know? Like, like it's one thing to confide. Like it's one thing to feel comfortable with an individual, to confide. But then there's being willing to confide to a re representative of an entire community or to an individual for whom they know will share with the whole community. Like, I, I don't know what that means, but my fingers keep having pieces of state, state, yeah, tape stuck to them. And uh, so like, this is clearly an object. I'm clearly dealing with duct tape all day long. I'm gonna get through it though. I'm not getting any of the paper action on camera. All right, I'm gonna take a chance here. Hopefully I don't, oi, look at that. Look at that little guy. Look at that little guy. Nothing else here. He didn't leave any droppings or anything. Good dog, wow, he's already house trained. Oh, that cute little boy. So that's a Pokemon, I think. But uh, that is way, way, way beyond the order of knowledge that I possess about that. Pokemon Center. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mighty Ina, is that, is that it? It's like a mighty pup, though. It is super adorable. Look at that guy. He, he is not taking it. But he's also like just sitting him down. I think he's just putting on a tough face because he's in a new area full of paper. <laughs> All right, this is soft. I wonder what it's going to be. I like it's not like a book, but like it's this is not how you would prepare art, right? So let's see what happens. Gonna unfold this there we go like that again. I'm just not pointing where the action is at all. I'm very good at this. This whole like filming myself, opening things. Oh yeah. Look, I've never done that before. This is the first time forever, alright, in real life. So um you need to be nice to me. Alright, there we go. Like sometimes it's just that, you know, when you're one-handed, like you need to apply pressure. You know, and to be able to have lever. That's pretty good. So this is um, uh, you know, module A. This is module B. And in order to complete your dog in the grass, all you need to do is 
pick up module A and place it atop module B. And there you go, your very own dog in the grass. Well, on the grass. It counts, all right? <laughs> hey there, everyone. The SoCal Way. Well, it's, it's the part two of the advent. I think I might... I think I'm probably going to put this uh, at the end of the live footage one. So, hey, have fun with the instant change in audio quality. That's the best. But today's a return, basically, of uh, faces we've been seeing. So Flubman's all like, oh, cow. I will destroy the world and everyone inside. That does sound pretty fun. And he sent me over EDF, Earth Defense Force 4.1. I am legitimately surprised that no one has sent... I think I have been sent EDF before, right? But this is 4.1. It's a fight for the future of the planet between the Ravagers, a merciless swarm of alien invaders, and the Earth Defense Force, EDF, and this third-person shooter. Play us four different classes and over 80 missions with a range of 800 weapons at your disposal. Co-op play supported. Yo, yeah. So, from what I understand, EDF as a series is all about um, just going absolutely overwhelmingly overboard just going like it is whoop, steam level zero how did that happen like it is you know like is i there's a word i have in mind and it's i got it on the tip of my tongue but it's not coming out so you got to do with this strange little descriptor instead and then yeah then following immediately despite doing some important things better than 4.1 uh, 5 is a weaker game overall however it's easily still worth playing. So you would suggest to me to play 4.1 instead. Stand and fight for humanity. This arcade shooter takes place in the year of this year. <laughs> as the Earth Defense Force fends off an all-out attack by unknown life forms. Become an EDF soldier. Battle against endless horrors of immense enemies and restore peace on Earth. Excess. That's the word I was looking for. This is a game series defined by the very concept of excess yeah, that's exciting then we got cat inside uh, it's jungle out there and as it's a puzzle game play as an orange cat to help the little girl escape cat inside the cat's inside it's a puzzle game with a that cat looks adorable i mean the, the fur pattern is real close to gaston so it's like yeah i mean it's a common fur pattern orange with uh you know white on the face and the belly it's a very, very common pattern. It's basically a white, like it's basically an orange cat, but like they ran out of toner, so to speak. Like the 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 DNA was coloring the fur, and then it just kind of ran out. So whatever doesn't get furred is white fur instead. It's funny. Cat DNA, like uh, if you have time. So, you know how humans have two sets of chromosomes, you know, X and Y, and the uh, variants you can have with some, some rare instances, we can have three. I think cat chromosomes have sets of four, and that has to do with the fur pattern they get, of all things. Like, that is why calicos are only female, or if they are male, they will be infertile. It's super wild. Anyway, I'm accepting that gift. Weird little tangent. A little bit of cat fat corner here that I have not verified that information in quite a while. Let's open up Steam. Huh, so yeah, I did not own any EDF. I... That surprises me. Alright, well, Shadow of New Despair, that's the name. Yeah, so you suggest Flubman 4.1. So that's the trailer we're gonna look like. Oh my god. This is almost accurate. <laughs> Hopefully you're okay with that, Steve. Nine minutes! Is this... Those are too long. I'm sorry. Yay! Okay. So you get... The PS4 thing on Steam, Kill that's funny. Whoa, this is stop. All sorts of giant creatures. And get this. Now that was there's weird. a big budget game that lets anyone simulate our battles. Finally! 
So, yeah, the tone of this fake commercial, to me, feels a lot like what I've seen of this game. So, like, I've never played it, but, like, I've seen some footage here and there, because, like, EDF fans are big fans of this game. Yeah, look at that, like, it's, it's like, Muso game-sized crowds, except the enemies are giant. Like, that is so cool, and that's a dinosaur. Godzilla type. So oh geez, a light effect. That's exciting. Easy mode is a cakewalk. Anyone oh boy. Even newbie gamers won't have to worry. That is such a weird pronunciation though. Or 700. On the blurb on the side said over 800. Well, over 800 is over 700. To be, to be accurate. Whoa! actual EDF members. There was a big difference in the percentage of wounded between those who played the simulator and those who had I like how it's not zero. Not much. It's like a protective outlet, a gift from the gods. That's funny. Don't miss your chance to experience the Oh, that looks gross. But like it's cool gross. Participate in the actual EDF as an elite member. I've heard saying you've played the game gives you an edge in the interview. Really? I I I guess in the universe that would make sense. So that's a video game in universe so, uh, of the game since universe. Since we cleared easy mode, yep. let's head out on our first real sortie. Hmm? Deploying. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Shouldn't we at least clear hard mode first? All right, everyone. Uh, I, See you next week. I, I think it's a bad Come idea. Come on, Honda. Let's go. That's uh, funny. What? Really? Overwhelmingly positive reviews. The difficulty go, Honda. Right there. Come on. Oh, you can do it. Oh, those That's bugs, though. They're like, there's too many. I, this is, this looks kind of great. I don't know how this works as a game though, like how it's structured, but this is what I've always seen. It's just like scenes like that. It's like, yeah, no, that's what it is. It's like, all right, I get it. That's what it is. But like, like, is it levels? Is it like a continuous thing? Like I'm, that I do not know. I'm trying to press back. Okay, so what's in cat game? I need to find a cat game I got. I don't remember the name, so I'm gonna have to find it. Cat inside. There we go. Yeah, see, look at that cat. It's inside the house. You did it, little buddy. Silver blade. No, the sound is there. It's just this is a silent part. Loading. Is it? No. It's just a very, very quiet trailer. Okay, so this child uh, and this cat are both stuck inside a building. And everyone knows here which one of these will be able to get both of them out. That's right. So, I get it. Silverblade is probably like one or two people. So, you know, I understand. Uh... I feel like, I mean, maybe this is a Steam issue, but I feel like, a, like, could you not at least use game audio? Or is the game also silent? You're in heaven now, cat. I guess. You're in Roma now, cat. I don't know how that happened. That's a dragon. But it's not the kind of dragon. You would see, like, Greeks, I don't think. Oh, that was, uh... Yeah, I cannot tell. Movie Zero. Yeah, so one person. Probably. Is the game silent? This is a puzzle game. Alright, four stages. Great. Orange Cat. Love it. There's an orange cat in the game. We're going to repeat that twice because it's very important. Uh, I need four gigs of RAM though, so I don't know. Let's see. Review. Captures being a cat well. Oh, that's a pretty good review. I I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if if this is an issue with uh, Steam or my computer or what, but I just couldn't not think about the silence and it overwhelmed like the lack of input overwhelmed my sen my senses in a strange way.